All right, me and JJ have moved out from our place. I live with Talia now. Quick backstory. So in 2014, myself, Josh, Vic, and JJ moved into a house. I'd obviously known JJ from school. Uh, I'd only met Vic maybe twice. I'd known Josh for about a year and a half, if that. So we lived there for about two years, and uh, while we were there, we started making more and more videos as the sidemen, and things just started growing from there. Then, go forward to 2016, we move into an even bigger house, which was just mental, still the four of us, and that kind of fully cemented itself as the Sidemen house. Again, we lived there for about two, two and a half years, and after that time, we all decided it's time to move out, move into London. So me and JJ were left, and we decided if we wanted to live in London, we wanted to go for the most central point possible. So, what better than centre point? So we moved into like the 29th or 30th floor, uh, we were there for two years, and then we moved down a few floors, spent another year there until we've now moved out. JJ has at this point actually moved out. I invited him back and I got John to ask us all the questions that we've never really answered in front of each other. Do you want to intro this or do you just want to just roll the question? You can just roll straight into it. Ooh. Hard hitting questions. Yeah, shit. <laughs> oh, are we about to start crying or some shit? <laughs> we'll make out. Oh, Berlin. I'm sure they would fucking love that. They'll be like, fine. Welcome to my OnlyFans. <laughs> Jesus. What were the best and worst parts about living with each other? Fucking oh, hell. There's just not many were the best. If any of them. Wow, all, yeah, weird. brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. This, this is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, I think it was nice having you there. I think That's you were like, nice say, like, company. Having like, your best mate in the flat. When you, yeah. want to, when you want to do something, you can, even though we didn't. Well, worst thing. I was, I, I'm going to say, it, you're, oh. you're screaming. Uh, you know what? I'll take that. Every time we deliver, I just hear, oh my God, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm there like, Jesus. I, I think I had <laughs> like Craig David round. That was the weirdest moment of my life, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so I was streaming and I, I go, oh, I'm just going to go quickly get a drink. Open my door and Craig David has stood three yards away yeah. from me. <laughs> And I'm thinking, this is so odd. I go, hello, Craig. Hello. Go sit down. I'm like, guys, I'm going to only open two more packs. So I can... <laughs> I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I really want to go say hi to Craig David. Oh, my God. Worst thing, because you kept having people here, like when you were doing boxing training. Oh, that yeah, was the yeah, worst. yeah, yeah, yeah. You were doing pads in here. Yeah, with Leon, yeah. So I'd start recording, and in on the mic, you just see, like, <laughs> this. And all, yeah, all you hear is that. I can't. Punch, punching. That was punching. I can't. This, this yeah, is yeah, punching. Punching, punching, punching. Punching. All right, so here it is the long overdue house tour, flat tour. I don't live here anymore. Neither does KSI. Welcome to the flat. Press that. Magic. All the lights. As I said, don't live here. So it's a bit empty. This is. The main room. We did a load of more Sidemen videos here. I mean, the sofa is, I, I reckon it's been sat on more and more Sidemen videos than for fun. We had a TV there behind you. I mean, we watched football about six times. This rug, you might think is ugly. It came with the flat. Dining room, this rarely got used. I've, re I've actually realized now after living with JJ for three years, we didn't actually hang out much. Aww. We didn't eat here. We didn't really hang out there. This was just filled with shit. I mean, if you, if you look in the background of some videos, you'll be able to see the amount of crap on here. Yeah, we filmed mukbangs. Uber. My dick's in on that. <laughs> we filmed that coin game. Hey, yo, Bro, what chill out. What are you doing? Man, he's actually quite doing nice to watch. Yeah, we had a TV there and a TV there. Sometimes when there was two matches on, like the World Cup, the Euros, we could literally watch both at the same time. This is the most useless light in the world. These light up very dimly. Bro, this don't even work. <laughs> Who was the cleanest? I got to say I'm cleanest. I'll admit, hey, yo, I'll come to my house and you'll see, bro. Yeah, no, I'll give you that. Yeah, you were, you were cleaner. <laughs> like my bedroom was so much cleaner than yours. You were the cleanest in shared areas. Okay, yeah, fine. Your room was always a mess. My room was always a mess, yeah. Every time. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that, yeah, fine. But in shared areas, you were just... Like... I wasn't a mess. Can no, we clear no, up? I just, wasn't a mess. You left stuff and then you just took a while to clean it up. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to clean it up soon, okay? It's just, uh, I'm just... Just taking my sweet time. The infamous out horn, which we're giving away on side plus. JJ used it like twice. <laughs> I don't know where to fucking put it. 
I don't know where to fucking put it. And it has been here ever since. JJ is gonna say I'm the messy one. He just puts it out of his sight and then doesn't come over here and be like, yeah, I don't have any mess. We have the kitchen. Yeah, I, w I did not cook. I pretty much got delivery every day. Oven, all of that. I feel like I'm doing like an estate agent tour. This is just cupboards. <laughs> this is a, a fridge. We had a water cooler because we're bougie. We don't drink tap water. It's central London, it's weird. Tap water is gross. The view at night, obviously, it's starting to get there. It's actually insane. Beautiful view, I'll miss it. Many people in their lives, including very best friends, uh, don't get to be involved in each other's lives as much as you two have. Do you feel lucky for that? Yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd say 100%. Especially if someone from school as well, to just come up together and just be like laughing at all our old schoolmates. Like, haha, <laughs> we're so much richer than all of you. Oh my. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. We don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> we didn't even go to school reunion. Nah. We're like, we're too fucking rich and famous that's not, for that. That's not why. <laughs> that's not why. My office, the rug is obviously there. The bean bag is there. That was obviously here. Ignore these. I have marked the wall slightly. It's fine. Now they peel right off. It's fine. It's fine. This old desk. This is an Ikea desk to here. This is an Ikea desk. I was like, I'll get those, make it a corner desk. I am not good at handyman work. I have not put them together well. It's pretty basic. Do you think you'll see each other as often? I mean, yes, because obviously Sidemen. Yeah. But, but no, often. because I know I think we're starting to have our own lives. Obviously, like, you're going to be doing more stuff with Talia. I'm sure when Randolph has a baby with Laura, he's just going to disappear because that's just what happens. No, I got a, a podcast with him. <laughs> what? That's way more important than a baby. <laughs> that's, that's our baby. Well, I guess he's going to work, isn't it? But he'll have to like spend more time with his kid and stuff. Yeah. So like, I know we're getting to that age where... Oh no. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're making us sound so old. No, no, but then after that, then you start hanging out more because yeah. then it's like, all right, the kids are a bit older and then you realize how much you fucking hate them. <laughs> <laughs> so three years I was here, I posted pretty much every day. So that's over a thousand videos on my second channel in here. That's mad. Got a little toilet in here. It's a toilet. The skid marks. There's not. <laughs> I don't use the toilet, so there wouldn't be. Nasty. No, wait, that means I leave them. <laughs> master bedroom. It's care size. Why did he get the master bedroom? Because he earns a lot more money than me. Oh. Luckily, this is all clean now, so I don't have to risk touching anything disgusting. I feel like this is normally an invasion of privacy. I mean, this is the famous KSI setup. For such a ridiculously huge YouTuber and such a, a rich man, it is a terrible setup. That PC is wham. Like, that's too big. This is the biggest UK YouTuber and my guy uses a G7X. Not plugged in, he just does that. And he uses a speaker as the stand. And then some, some road mic that I'm, I'm pretty certain that was like my old one that I was gonna use for traveling. It's so bizarre, but I watch every video and it's fair enough. They're good videos, so it kind of makes sense. Keep the charm, I guess. Did you ever hear me like, fuck? If I have, I'm, I blocked I'm out. I'm pretty loud when I orgasm. I don't think I've heard you. Uh, yeah. I don't think I can look at you the next day. Yeah, no, no. If okay. I'm here, I heard like, Oh. Yeah, no, I'm like a fucking demon. <laughs> well, not like that, but like, I'm really like, I really go for it. Okay. Because I feel like it amplifies the orgasm as well. It's like when people do the uh, like hammer throw, and when you let go, you shout. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. That. Yeah, that's yeah. it, bro. That's exact perfect same. example. <laughs> yeah, bro, guys, try it for real, like. Literally put you all into it. All right. And you'll be like, damn, this orgasm was great. <laughs> Wait, did you hear me? No, I never heard you. Okay. I never, I tried. What? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell, guy. <laughs> You're just quiet, bro. I told you when yeah, I did. Bruh. That's it. Not anymore. Next time. Well, yes, sir. Oh. Bro, that's it, bro. Who's going to hear you? <laughs> <laughs> he had this view. Speed up. You want to bamba? You want a G with the big boy? Look at the view. Seeing this every day from your bed. Very sick. This is his toilet. I would never show you his, this stuff if he if he still lived here, because it would be really, really disturbing. Shower, bath. That bath is sick. Although you know what? I've always found jarring. Baths that are like hard at the edge instead of a little bit curved. It hurts your head to rest on it. You need like one of them pillows or something. That, that was a very first world problem, I'm sorry. <laughs> And then we move on from here 
into this part. So there's a door there, which I've found kind of weird because there's like two bedrooms here. So this one is my bedroom. Uh, you probably recognize it from porn. This is my view. We have the busiest street in London right there. I had a TV here. This is where I had all my like clothes and shoes and stuff. I had a little ensuite over here. Little. I, I had an ensuite over here. It's very clean now. That's the bath, like that's still a mad bath. Can you show, show us how you fit in the bath? Are you gonna say I definitely don't fit? You definitely don't fit. I fit. It's a knees up job. My legs are flat. Yeah, to be fair. Have you ever walked in on one another naked? Not, not naked. Nah. I've seen you in your pants a lot. Yeah, yeah. Weirdly to say this, I've seen you naked, but not here. But no, it was uh, it was like that shoe in it when I was chasing Multiple everyone. Shoots. That shoe. Oh, okay, yeah. You fine. got your asshole out. At yeah, all the shoot. yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I'm trying to get back in shape again, so I can be naked. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to be naked around the homies. Well, oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Old me. <laughs> I think it was always awkward whenever, well, I don't want to say her name, but uh, whenever I had my wank towel and I'd like leave it out by accident and then yep. she'd had to clean it. Yeah. Or take it away and I'm like, ah. Yeah. Like I look, come back and I'm like, oh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. The final room. So this originally, when we had it in the old flat, which was just a few floors up, we had the desk over there. And then we had that as like the studio. That's where all of New Age was recorded. Then when we moved to this flat, it kind of changed a bit. We kept the studio part. Then we turned it into the podcast room. Hence this wall. I don't know if this will still work. We can try. Oh, this is the podcast room. As, I mean, you can see by the dents in the floor, we had a chair here, a chair here, and a chair here. So everyone's knees were like touching. It was so close. Everyone was like breathing in each other's air. So when this was the studio, we actually had the podcast in that corner. And it was just two red curtains just put there. And the cat, we just put a camera here, filmed us there. It was so squeezed in. Got this, John started filming. <laughs> I had to sit in the corner there. Yeah, you sat on a chair here and you had like a camera here, a camera here and a camera here. And you were literally like, this room and the upstairs room has seen, seen a lot. Two podcast setups. We've had a KSI and Randolph album be recorded in it. I've recorded all my songs, which aren't many, but me and Randolph recorded them all in here. Yeah, this room's, this room's seen a lot. Are you gonna miss each other? Just straight up, miss each other. Oh. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna miss, hold my hand, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> no, we can't, we can't, get we're on me. We're doing it, bro. Get on me, get Bro, on. I'm gonna miss living with you, for real. It's gonna be, it's. <laughs> Your hands are so warm. <laughs> oh, boy, exactly. no, I am. I'm gonna miss living with you, bro. Yeah, but I'm gonna see you again soon anyway. I'm seeing you tomorrow. Yeah. I hate saying no. I hate saying I'm going to miss living with you because it makes it sound like, please, can we live together again? You know oh, what I mean? okay. like, yeah, yeah. Which I think obviously you're happy now in yeah, your, yeah. your place. Well, I'm, yeah, it's, I, I, it's about time. Yeah. And I feel like. And I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. Tardis I am, I swear. <laughs> Tardis, no, Tardis, like, it's time for us to oh, have yeah. a baby. Ooh, okay. And <laughs> marriage. <laughs> nah, but I will miss living with you. Like, I feel like, I mean, it's eight years. Yeah, it's a fucking That's literally long time. A quarter, over a quarter of my life. Fuck, when that's you feel like that, that's kind of, that is quite mad. And well, then we how lived... long have we known each other for? 18 years. You've known me longer than you haven't known Haven't me. known you. Yeah. Fuck. That's, yeah. Jesus, why aren't we married? <laughs> <laughs> I offered for a video. <laughs> well, still still see each other. Yeah, know? of course. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, it's sad. <laughs> it is, yeah, it's sad. It's, it's sad, man. That's the tour. It's the first and only time I've shown this whole flat. Normally, obviously, I'll show you like a bit, but I won't show you the view because I don't want you weirdos to know where I live. But yeah, me and JJ, we've both moved out. It's the end of KS Simon. Uh, eight years, eight years we've lived together. It's kind of mad, but now I live with Talia. I don't think I could live alone. That's scary. Thank you for all the memories in the flat and the other flat. I, I count them as the same flats. It's, it's one flat. So yeah, thank you for the support over the years in this flat and uh, hopefully the next one's just as good, if not better, than a house, than marriage and kids. 
Nah, but for real, thank you guys for watching and um, yeah, thank you again. Peace. Done. This is like, Kea Simon has on, ended. Come on, come on, man. I'm going to miss you, bro. I'm going to miss you too, man. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is weird. <laughs> oh, it's... Yeah, done. <laughs> you can stop now. Yeah, it's just, I miss you so much. Oh, <laughs> wholesome. Oh my god. Aww. Cute.